Hello, I'm Officer Adam Brown with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Today I would like to speak to you about boating safety and preparing for hurricane season. The state of Florida is widely considered the boating capital of the world. With our year-round warm weather, seemingly endless coastlines, and easy access to beautiful waterways, it is no surprise. We have nearly one million registered vessels in the state, and that number grows annually. But while owning and operating a vessel on our waters can be a great outdoor activity, the responsibility of preparing for tropical weather cannot be overlooked. As you probably know, June 1st through November 30th is designated as hurricane season, with the peak of that season falling from mid-August to late October. This is the time that we are most likely to be affected by tropical weather. Hurricanes and tropical storms can cause devastation and wreak havoc, especially in areas near the water. Whether you trailer your vessel, store it at a marina, or moor it on the water, it is important that you prepare for how best to protect your property, and that includes your vessel. The first thing you need to do is create a plan. It is important that you create a plan of action prior to the start of hurricane season. Some things to consider are the location of storage. Depending on whether your vessel is trailered, high and dry, or kept on the water, you will need to make sure you review the best options available. Ideally, if you can store your vessel inside a wind-rated facility, such as a garage or a similar building, this will greatly increase the chances of it surviving the storm without damage. If you store your vessel at a marina or storage yard of some sort, be certain to review the procedures and policies of that facility before making a decision on whether to leave it or relocate it prior to the storm hitting. Leaving your vessel anchored on the water, on a lift or tied to a dock is not the preferred option for several reasons. These options leave your vessel exposed to the extreme winds, strong storm surge and surf, and other floating and windborne debris that can significantly damage your boat. Make sure to purchase all items needed to secure your vessel prior to the start of hurricane season. Items such as dock and anchor lines, chains, anchors, hardware, straps, and tape will be difficult to find once the storm is already forecast. Take photographs of your vessel prior to the storm making landfall. These photos can be quite helpful after the storm has passed in assessing the damage to the boat. Review your insurance policy and speak with them prior to the storm season so that you know any requirements or incentives they may have for properly preparing. Understand the contract, insurance coverages, and policies for your marina or storage facility as well. Review the hurricane plan if they have one in place. Know your responsibilities and liabilities before leaving your vessel there. For preparing your boat, be sure to turn off accessory batteries or remove them entirely, other than the battery for the automatic bilge pump. Remove all equipment from the vessel and store it in a safe location, such as radios, sails, safety equipment, GPS units, etc. Secure anything that can't be removed from the vessel, such as the boom, your tiller, the wheel, etc. Secure all windows, doors, and hatches, and make sure to disconnect the fuel line. Check anchor lines, chains, cleats, and eye bolts for integrity. Keeping your vessel on dry land, which is the safest option, for smaller, lightweight boats, it is best to trailer the vessel as far inland as possible to lessen the effect of wind. Ideally, place the vessel inside a wind-rated building. If storing outside, store the vessel in an open area to prevent trees and debris from falling and striking it. Tie the boat to the trailer securely using trailer or ratchet straps. Place chalk blocks around the wheels and deflate the tires to prevent the trailer from rolling. You may even consider pumping water into the bilge or to the deck of the vessel to weigh it down. Use ground anchors and strap the vessel down to prevent rollover. If you are keeping your vessel moored on the water and you don't have a choice to bring it inland, consider these things. Anchor your vessel with at least two anchors, more if possible, and attempt to position the bow in the direction of the strongest winds. Be sure that anchor line lengths are at least 10 times the depth of the mean water at the mooring location to account for storm surge. This means if you are in 10 feet of water, be sure to make sure that you have at least 100 feet of anchor line. Check the automatic bilge and battery voltage to ensure it is operational and make sure your batteries are fully charged. Do not leave your vessel on the davits or a lift. This will increase the chances that it will drift away during the storm surge or even become airborne. We've seen it happen. Preparing early for an incoming hurricane is very important and so is keeping an eye on day-to-day -day weather changes. The weather can change rapidly in Florida, so make sure that outside of an incoming hurricane, you check the weather before and during any trip on the water. 
The number one thing to remember when a hurricane is imminent, do not stay on board your vessel during the storm. This is the worst possible scenario. Your life is worth a lot more than your vessel. For more boating safety tips, please visit our website at www.myfwc.com boating. Thank you.